Welcome to my YouTube channel and today we are looking at one of Ghana's most thriving industries. It seems relatively new to a lot of people but has been in existence for a very very long time and this is no other than the rabbit industry. We are going to look at the profitability of this venture, the market as well as some of the best practices to ensure that you reap your optimum best from rearing rabbits. Do stay with us, you wouldn't want to miss this discussion. Mr. Obon, yeah, welcome to Agri Connect. Um, thank you very much. Okay, Madam. so my viewers just know your name. Now, give us more details about yourself. Okay, so uh, my full name is Samuel Opon Jr. Uh, I'm a graduate from the University of Choice, that oh, is okay. University of Cape Coast. Yes, I did management studies. Um, I'm also a proud rabbit farmer. Okay. I also did IT, you know, yes, and I teach. For now, I teach and also doing rabbit farming as a side yeah, business. Oh. So, Your background yeah. is quite interesting. How did you come about this industry? And of all the um, popular ones, why did you choose rabbits? Um, so uh, I did a little research um, into um, animals that are prolific. Oh, okay. Animals that are prolific. That is, within a short time, oh. you'll be able to get more of them. Yes, and earn more money. So I considered rabbit farming because they are... Rabbits are prolific, and within a span of a year, you could one rabbit can you know double, triple its its yes itself through um, littering. So and um, considering rabbit, the benefits in rabbit as compared to other livestock. Okay. I decided to go for rabbits. That is why yes, and okay. I also have the love. Mm. I, have, I also have the love. The for, passion for, them. for the passion. Yeah, yes, the passion rabbit. for rabbits. Okay. Yeah. So now you have taken us. To the prolific aspect of it, how long does it take for a rabbit to um, the gestational period? How long does it take? Okay, so um, it is within 30 to 32 days. Oh, yes, 30 to 32 days. So let's say one month. Mm. So you would you would cross that is you will meet a rabbit um, within one month through the, the the pregnancy. Within one month, it will deliver. So when it delivers, it takes care of it bunnies for two months. We call something weaning. Mm. That is when you take the bunnies mm -hmm. from the mother after two months. two months. Then you can give the mother one week, just one week, and recross it. Yes. So within using this plan, within a year, one rabbit can give you. So um, let's say the litter, sometimes the litter between um, five to eight. I've even experienced 12, mm. but wow. five to eight. So if it is giving you five rabbits within a year, if you should give birth three times, Later three times. Imagine fifteen rabbits out of one rabbit. Okay. That is why they are prolific and is a good venture. That's quite interesting. Mm. However, does it have anything to do with the um, with the feed you give it, or maybe some of the veterinary serv extension services that you have access to that makes it possible for your rabbits to be crossed again just after a week mm. of delivery? Mm. Mm. No, actually, it's, it's natural. Mm. We don't use any scientific. It's natural. Mm. Yes, they are prolific by nature. Mm, by nature. They are prolific okay. by nature. Yes. So some can even give birth to 10, 12, but there's a disadvantage mm. because rabbits' nipples are eight. It has mm. four here, four here. So if you should give more than eight, eight. it becomes survivor of the fittest. Mm. No, okay. the bunnies they need yeah. to survive. Yeah. So, the, so at, and and their growth rate will be affected because you could see that the first batch, let's say first, second, third. You could see they are they are they are big, so they will go for the milk and leave the uh, other other litters with which are very tiny, and they they may die. Yes, they may die. So yeah, yeah. And um, now let's come to the feeding aspect. You know, okay. when it comes to most uh, of the animal farming um, okay. practices, 
or mm-hmm. most of the animal farming um, ventures, mm-hmm. what prevents people has to do with the feed. Feeding yes. is very expensive. expensive, and even how to apport, how to portion Possess. these feeds, mm-hmm. because um, at every stage there's a requirement for their mm-hmm. for them to go to their optimum. Mm. what mm. are your feeding practices what type of feed do you employ some people give them grass, grass. some give them store-bought feed some yes. also have their own combinations to ensure that their rabbits are uh, or probably they grow fast they grow, fast. They grow big yes. and yes. then without yes. with well rabbits don't have a lot of fats but also to ensure yes. that they are ready for the market yes. you know and also looking appealing mm. so what are mm. some of your feed mm. secrets what do you enshrine your feed <laughs> for these people to eat um actually we don't have any secrets in the mm. end, yes looking at some of us in the urban area yeah. you know not in the rural area with the rural area you can you can go with the grass okay. but as compared comparing the grass to the feed you could see that when they eat the feed they grow faster and bigger the feed now their system is that of the pot the the the, the, the chicken they are pot the poultry the system so most of the times we've adopted the, the feeding system of the poultry mm-hmm. and we are using it so for some health farms we use broiler starter we have the layer mash we have the grower mash and we have the broiler starter now the difference is that with the broiler starter it has higher protein content as in the soya bean in it is very high so when you give them the broiler starter depending on the ratio you use that is let's say um, one bag of 50 kg of broiler starter you add uh, uh, grower mash about two that is um, 50 kg of grower mash then we add granot hacks granot hacks gives them fiber then we add a little rice bran we mix everything together we give it to them and you could see that they enjoy the feed they grow really big um, sometimes I give them grass but not always as I'm saying looking at my my area it's very difficult to get grass so I, I go sometimes 24 7 um, with a feet and you could see you could see the results as yes, you go around you yes. see the results very big something is they are pure breeds but i don't have pure breeds here they are misbreed oh. they are misbreed and when you see the weight <laughs> i bet you um you you will love them okay. will let love me take them. you back before yeah. we come to the breeds yeah. um so how often do you feed these rabbits okay so because how heavy the feed is as compared to the layer mash and the grower mash, as I said, the, the broiler starter has high um, um, percentage as com- uh, in terms of protein. protein. So I feed them just once a day. Oh, wow. Just once. And you know, they are nocturnal animals. Mm. So they mostly eat at night. Nice. So what I do is I feed from, let's say, four or five going. So I go to work in the morning. I come back and I feed in the evening. In the morning, I just go around, check one or two, their health, then... I go to work so once a day if i overfeed twice that is where they develop fat okay. within the system mm-hmm. and it prevents the, the the females from littering if you should feed them and they have let's say 100 grams per mm. day it's and perfect when the animal is pregnant sometimes the pregnant they don't even eat much mm. but it can go 120 grams per day and it's perfect using the broiler starter if you are using a grower mash it's a different percentage of because the protein content is less and you need to boost it. Yes, that is why. Yes, so once a day is perfect. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. So then this seems quite reasonable. I mean, yeah. if you are going to feed them once a day, that mm. sounds yes, possible. Yes, yes, yes. 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 and economical. Yes. Economical yes. as well. Okay, economical interesting. As well. Okay. Yeah. Now, you mentioned earlier that you focus on the mixed breeds. That's yes. what you have here. Yes, is there a special now. reason behind it? As there are a lot of breeds when mm. it comes to rabbits mm. that you can actually mm. venture into. Mm. Why so, do you? Uh, with the mixed breed, you know, looking at our climate, our mm-hmm. weather condition, our environment, if we should import, even the feeding system we use, mm-hmm. if we should uh, import the pure breed from outside, mm-hmm. sometimes it's very, very difficult for them to survive because of looking at our mm-hmm. climate weather. So what we, we are doing with the mixed breed, it is the male bunnies that we bring from outside, then we cross them, we meet them with the ones we have. Oh, okay. Then we get the misbe. Mm. So the features, the characteristics, they will grow big, but with strong resistance. Yeah, resistance. Yes, in terms of disease and other things. Yes, that is why for me, I, I prefer misbreed. Okay. They are very strong. strong. Very, very strong as compared to the pure breed. Pure breed is perfect. They will grow big, but, but taking care of them is very, very difficult. Sometimes with the females, even to meet them, it's a challenge. 
because of how big, big they, they are, are. <laughs> okay. you need to get their yes they are they are kind of yeah, to match to, yeah okay. to match them mm. yes yes okay. that is why for me i prefer the the misbreed yes so you that. mentioned one important aspect of mm. um rabbit farming you talked mm. about the weather condition yes as um just like any other um a great uh, venture there mm. are conditions that favors them and the conditions that mm. hampers their success. success so what are some of the over your um number of years into this um venture mm. what have you realized are some of the best conditions for growing rabbits now let's look at the uh, we mentioned the weather yeah. So let's say, what about this weather? You are currently at Awoshi in Ghana. Yes, yes, so what makes yes. your weather good for the um, mixed breed? Mixed breed. Okay. So in terms of the weather, when when it starts to rain, mm-hmm. when you get to the rainy season, mm-hmm. it is very perfect for breeding mm-hmm. because um, the weather becomes cold and they, they, they easily accept the males. Mm-hmm. When you are breeding them, mm-hmm. the, the female easily accept the male. But when we should enter into the hot season, that is when even the sperm becomes dry up. Mm. So when the, the male releases, sometimes the female even rejects the sperm because of the weather. Mm. Very hot, hot, they need to relax. They need, you know, sometimes I even pop, pump water on them because of the weather. But when it, it gets to the rainy season, very perfect for breeding. Very, very perfect for breeding. Yes. And also, um, there are animals who, are, who, are, who need sound environment. Mm. If you are in an environment where there is too much noise, it intends to um, provoke, sometimes it even provokes them and be, they begin to um, bang their feet. Since that it, it, it means that it's, it's telling the others there is danger. Yes, yeah, so they, they intend, sometimes they even panic and die. Mm. Oh. Yes, when they hear on, ne- mm. on, on no noise, they easily panic and you see them running in the cage and they die. So sound environment is key. Sometimes when I'm going around, I play song. You know, I love I love songs. So okay. I play song, and you could see they are they are used to you, you, they just have to be used to your mm. environment. So when you are taking a rabbit to another environment, first of all, noise is very very important. Uh, their worst enemies, I would say, are dogs mm. and cats. Yes, they are not uh, good with dogs. Mm. Yes, but I have a German Shepherd, as I said, <laughs> yes. and I bought it as a puppy, so it grew with them. The, it was barking and it's used to. So now when it's barking. They are yeah, used to the sound. Okay. Yes. So, so it's next... all about familiarity. Yes. So if I'm yes. transport, if I come and get rabbits from here, transporting to maybe my house, I have to make sure mm. that the condition at least is similar it's to what similar, you have here, yes. so that they yes. can adjust. They can adjust. Mm. Yes, they can adjust. Apart from that, I think with the condition cleanliness, you have mm. to get a cage, caging system where it is easy to clean. Mm. So you go around, you see the cleaning is very very key mm. because it, it is through the cleaning that generates a lot of diseases. Okay. Yeah, so it, you have to get a clean environment as well mm. and you are you are good to go. Okay. Yeah. All right. So um you know some people do the um, open cage system. Okay. But you do the okay. battery cage system. Mm. So um what are some of the reasons for this type of system? Um, and then with this you have to be more focused on them. You have to pay much attention, attention. to them, especially when you talk about the disease. disease but you keep yeah. about our three or four, or even more in the same case. The so same should case. something happen? So mm. what what precautions have you taken, and why have you chosen this type of system? Okay. So you know, in rabbit farming, observation is very key. Mm-hmm. Observation is very very key. With a system I use now, if we can go run out, yes. Okay. So I have I have. Um, this particular cage um, that is three feet by two feet. So with this one, I I prepared it for mothers because it will litter. When it litters, it has to be with the bunnies. So we see this one. It gave birth to uh, seven, but one died. It's left with six, and you could see it's taking really good care of them. So they will be here till they are two months. Then I take the mother out. I have other system whereby. It is three rooms, three rooms in one in one cage. It, 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 it's three rooms. So each room is two by two. And that one, I keep one rabbit in it. Yes, because um, it helps them to grow faster. It helps them to grow faster. And this system also makes cleaning very easy. Cleaning very, very easy. And looking at the wooden, this is the wooden type of system compared to the cage, the normal mesh, mm. yes. With the wooden, looking at, again, our weather condition. You see the sun, when it's very high, and, and also when it rains, when it rains, you know, the wood, it, 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 it prevents the 
yes when there, there's storm or something yeah it prevents it from getting to them yes so that is why i chose this particular system okay. yes and yes. you know so i realized that there's a the drop-ins fall okay. on maybe okay. there's a tree. Tree. yes a tree okay. yes. A tree. yes um you know this can serve as a good source of manure do Manual. some farmers yes. come or do you even use them yourself maybe yes on your... yes yes i have a backyard mm. garden okay so i have a little snail farm as mm. well yeah, so I'm using it to grow cocoa yam leaves, mm. and they also love potato leaves. You know, their potato is a creeping plant, so I mix it with the soil, with is 100% manure. Rabbit um, droppings, 100% manure. So using this system, it helps me to collect the the droppings, mix it with the soil, then. I plant, I do my planting and it's perfect. It's, it's growing really well. Okay. Yes, right. it's growing really well. So you mentioned really well. earlier about the diseases that affect um, some rabbits. of the rabbits. Yes. What have yes. you observed so far and how do you ensure that you have little casual, casualties as okay. possible? Okay. So with the disease, we have the common ones. We have coccidiosis. Mm. We have diarrhea. You know, we have bloat. So um, for me, I do more of prevention than cure. It's good to prevent than cure. So I have a system. Uh, I have uh, my medication chart that I use. So when the animal is pregnant, first of all, you don't need to give it any medication because it may affect the pregnancy. Yes. So what I do is when they litter or before I cross them, I treat coccidiosis for three days. And I also treat, um, I give them antibiotics for their system to be ready. So when I do that, I cross them. Then when they litter, I don't give them any, any medication. So what I do is, I do, as I said, more of the prevention mm-hmm. than the cure. But in case I see any um, um, sign of disease, like the coccidiosis, where their droppings become watery, their droppings become very watery, I give them a particular um, drug, stop cocks. So I mix it in, with oh, water. Oh, okay. With, with water. water. Yes, I mix it with water at a proportion, then I give it to them. Oh, nice. And okay. uh, within three days, you could see that it will pick up. Mm. Then, But I also give triders. Uh, we mostly call it adanku biscuit. You know, okay. adanku biscuit. Yes, it's very, very good in treating uh, coccidiosis and diarrhea. So when I see a sign, and as I said, you need to be observant. Because when it delays, you may lose the rabbit. So as you are being observant, immediately you see it, you give it to, the, to them and Perfect. Yes. Hmm, that's, yes. Interesting. Yes. that's interesting. That's mm. interesting. Okay. So, Mr. Fon, just like any venture, mm. I'm sure you've encountered some challenges. How long have you been in this industry? Um, so, I've uh, more than 13 years. Oh, more than 13. Yes. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> the right person to come to. Okay. So, more I'm sure you encountered some challenges as yes. you started this venture. Yes. What were some of them? Um, so, the first challenge was mm-hmm. space. Space. Okay. Space. Was, for me, I started with. Um, three rabbits. That is one male and two females. That was around I think, 2009. Yes. And space was a challenge because of how they are prolific, how they multiply very mm. fast. I was using my mother's backyard and they were multiplying and you could see at night because they are active, they begin to make noise and roll the bulls. And so I was asked to move them. And you know, this is our own house. But I would say if uh, you are not having your own place, it becomes a challenge, another challenge. Because of how they multiply very fast, um, space becomes a problem because a landlord or a landlady wouldn't allow you to use yes. So I had to use the, the, this particular place, which um, I'm, I'm in a family of five. The others, they were like, hey, now you are using all the space in the house, you know, kind of. So yeah. space has been a problem. And also they are feeding. They are feeding. Uh, I, can't, I encountered a little problem because rabbits, you know, they are non-luminant. We are treating them, they are in the bush, they, they chew grass, and when we bring them home to, to raise them, their feeding becomes a challenge. Because their system, for them, they have, they have to eat grass. But because their system is like the poultry, we decided to use the poultry feed. And if you don't mix it very well, that is where you encounter other kind of diseases. Yes, so, so far, and also um, the waste, waste management was a problem. Because I go to a time, Zoom Lion kept, you know, taking my money because as they grow, mm-hmm. their droppings become mm-hmm. more and I had to clean it. But it, now I have someone who is having a vegetable farm okay. who comes for it and just take it away. So okay. uh, actually, this were the challenge. 
these were the mm, challenges. These are some of the few challenges. Yes, few challenges. In, okay. yes, in and you've been able to navigate these. Really excellent. Okay. Excellent. Now I'm, right. I'm really doing well. I mean, just like I always say, there's no waste in agriculture. Sure. The droppings, sure. even the, the fur, the urine, yes, yes, there's yes, no waste. It's yes, all a matter yes, of yes. whatever you see, it's an opportunity. opportunity. It's just you mm. having the right mindset mm. and then the tools to transform mm, it to for transform. your own good. Sure, yes. sure, sure. So sure. you mentioned, or you keep mentioning that um, rabbits are prolific breeders. Yes. This means if you are venturing into it, just make sure that you have your market. Your market. The market is mm. very, very mm. important. Mm. Yes. Mm. So um, now let's look at your market and how you sustain them. You started with three, three and now yes. you have over a hundred. Over 100, yes. So how do you start, how do you even attract people and how do you sustain them to ensure that mm. you stay relevant mm. in business? And I think we are in the 21st century and uh, as an individual, you need to take advantage of how technology is growing. Yes, I happen to also be into IT, as I said, yes, IT. So I, I mostly use the social media. I have a YouTube channel, mm -hmm. some head farms, uh, Facebook. I use WhatsApp. I do designing a little. So you have your flyer, your, your, you have logo. Even I, I always advise farmers or young ones who wants to start that before they even start, they need to get all these things in place. I've registered the farm with the registrar general. So everything is in place. So now with the market, my immediate environment, that is my my family. Yeah, my first market. My brother, my sister, when they are having their birthday parties, I convince them to <laughs> purchase <laughs> yes. Because it's a good it's a good meal. Yes. And also my friends, my colleague at work. They are also my, my, my closest market. Even my church. I attend the Church of Pentecost, which I'm mm, very proud of. <laughs> okay. So, so, so my church, even the elders, the deacon, the deaconesses, they know what I do. So anytime they need meat that is different from other meat, they call on me. Fight and, meat. Yes, Healthy fight, fight meat. meat. Yes, fight meat. And they call on me. And so, so far... I use more of the social media. So you forgot one thing. Now I'll be connected here. So we are also I'll your sharp, <laughs> sharp, 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 sharp. I have another source which I believe will, will, will yes. really help. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Okay. So these are basically, mm. I have so, I have mm. my logo. I mostly use it for my uh, DP. You know, you, you just have to let market the... Yourself. Yes, market yourself. Your, your, you just market, your target market, you market yourself. That's and, more. People yes. get to recommend and recommend. That and is recommend. it. That okay. is it. That is it. Oh, and nice. you are good to go. Yes, you are good. And to you go. mentioned since your markets, you actually look around you for your markets. Mm. How mm. profitable is this venture? You know, when mm -hmm. people are thinking of venturing into a new field, all they think about is how much I'll make, yes. how much yes. I'll make, how much I'll make. And mm. then, I mean, it takes time. Yes. But how do, yes. in your opinion, you've been in this industry for yes. 13 years. Yes. That's quite yes. a long time. Yes. What do you think um, of this industry? Is it profitable? Rabbit farming is, is, is very, very profitable, very, very profitable. But it is not a uh, quick um, time ending, like money ending mm. venture that you think when you start quickly, you want you to end. No, mm. you allow them to go because it, the, the profit comes in uh, depending on the number of rabbits you have. Mm. The number of rabbits you have. Now, looking at the system of feeding, it has, made, it has discouraged some farmers yeah. who we are not having the passion mm -hmm. you know you can't take passion out of rabbit farming because they die there's mortality there's mortality in rabbit farming and as i said it's very very profitable if one rabbit one female rabbit can give you about 15 rabbits within a year imagine you having two females they can give you 30 rabbits and the 30 bunnies out of it you would get females in it which within a year you can also use as your breeding stock and it will multiply so imagine it is very 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 profitable now let's very come profitable. to numbers mm. how much do you sell one rabbit um so for now looking at <laughs> the system mm -hmm. and also the feeding mm -hmm. for now i sell bunnies when i say bunnies that is two months the one mm. i've win. i sell it at 50 ghana mm. 50 ghana so three months i sell it at 60 ghana four months i go 80 ghana then five months 100 ghana okay. You know, pricing, you as a farmer, you, you should really consider pricing because pricing would attract customers and also make lose customers. So with some head farms, you don't price. Some people sell rabbit 200 Ghana. But, you know, you need to start. I've been in this industry mm, so for a while and dynamic. I know, yes. But it is not fixed. Mm. So if you're a customer, you come to me and I see your car, I see the way you dress. <laughs> 
I can shoot, yes. <laughs> but if if I also consider these things and I know you you are going to start, mm. I just consider you. Yes. So it is not fixed. The pricing is not fixed. But as I said, it's very very profitable. It's very very yes. profitable. Okay. Yeah. Now um, let's look at the value addition. Okay. You know. Okay. So to make the most, we've realized over a period that to make the most out of a great. Mm. There's a need to add mm. value to value. the production. Sure. Sure. So if you add value, you get more. Mm. And mm. now let me ask you, do you add value to your um, rabbits? Maybe killing, dressing, or sometimes even grilling? Yes. So that you are versatile in yes. all aspects. Yes, yes. Okay. You know, value addition um, is an aspect that also adds to the, to, to the income. Mm -hmm. Because if I should sell a live rabbit at 100 cities, and that same rabbit at five months that I'm selling a hundred, if I should slaughter and grill, mm -hmm. for us, we do grilling, mm -hmm. we do smoking, mm -hmm. we, we do frozen, mm -hmm. and sometimes fresh meat. So this same rabbit, hundred cities, if I should add value by grilling, I get 150, 50 in addition. Mm -hmm. I sell it at 150 cities, sometimes 180 cities. So for the value addition, you can do smoking. You can do grilling, mm. and most people love the grilling really? because of how we grill it. We add the spices, you know, the the top ups, and it's it's perfect. So grilling, and sometimes they come for meat. Mm. Let's say the fresh meat, it's either frozen. Yes, they use it for parties, and mm. yes. So these are the value addition that you can add to mm. it. Yes, and you know sometimes when you are slaughtering, uh, people they prefer the 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 meat, the skin. We know, you know, mm -hmm. Daniels love the women. <laughs> yeah, so we go, we have two ways. Mm. Okay, it's, it's three ways. We use the hot water, we use the skinning. The skinning is where you have to take off the skin mm. and it will be left with the fresh meat. Mm. And we have the blowing. The blowing is using the blow touch, like those days our forefathers used to do. So that one, we have the blow touch, then we use it to blow. That one, you would see the women. Mm, yes, the okay. skin, yes, mm. attached, and it's, that one is very, very perfect. Mm. It's very, very, very perfect. Yeah. Okay. So, in terms of value addition, that is what we, we do. Yes, that is what we so do. So, you have been in this industry for 13, 13 years. Yes. 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 There are people yeah. who are thinking of venturing into this industry. Do you mm. offer training services so that these in the, these individuals who might be interested in venturing can maybe come here? Learn yeah. from you, maybe at a fee, and if mm. you are being generous and you want to do it for free, <laughs> do you offer such services? No, things that are free doesn't last. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we, we we do trainings mm. uh, for for almost five years now. I've been doing training. Within a year, I do I, I run three different sections. So um, I farmers come from all the way from Bolega. Mm. I had one lady coming from Bolega and even Tamale to to go through the training. Mm. Yes, in each training, I have about 11, 9 uh, uh, new farmers that I train. So I've done the training for almost uh, uh, 9 sections. Mm. And even 27th May, coming 27th it's May, yes, training. there is a new training that we are going to run. Yes, oh. so we train farmers. Oh. We, we give them, there is no secret in rabbit farming. Rabbit farming. Some people will tell you, I have a, a, a feed for me. No, there is no secret. So it is better if you want to start as a youth. As a, it's very, very profitable. You want to start as a youth, as a side, uh, side business. You come, you get the required training. People start and without training, they yes. end up mm. messing up things. So we train you at a little fee, mm -hmm. then you are good to go. Okay. How long are these trainings? It's, it's just one day, seven hours oh, training. Okay. So from uh, cage construction, that is the daily management mm. practice, the cage con to slaughtering of rabbits and marketing and sales. Oh, nice. We'll teach you everything. Everything, the breeds, the right breeds. Because before you start the production, you need to know the, the kind of production you want to enter. If it is meat production, there is some the breeds that are good for meat. If it is breeding, you want to breed and sell. They are they are breeds that are good for breeding. Mm -hmm. So you need to be educated on these things so that when you are starting, you wouldn't find yourself wanting. Yes. Okay. Yes. So when you are starting, you won't mm, find, find yourself, yourself wanting. wanting. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> very, very important. Okay. Mm. So do you have any final words for individuals who are in the industry and probably frustrated, or individuals in the industry and would want to maybe connect with other farmers, how they can go about it? Maybe some things more for people who might also be interested in yes. rabbit farming. Yes. Yes. Um. So what I would like to say is, uh, looking at the system now, um, when you start, uh, it's a little challenging, as I said. 
Um, beginning of everything is, is kind of challenging, but I've seen the success of rabbit farming. Through rabbit farming, I was able to even pay my fees at the university, even supporting my wife to pay her fees, my children's fees. It, everything is through rabbit, rabbit farming. Um, I, the money I get in a month is even more than what I get at, um, that is in rabbit farming mm. is more than what I get as in working as a mm. teacher. Yes, so uh, I would encourage each and every one that it is a venture that they, they can enter and, and just get a lot of money. So they shouldn't be discouraged. They should also seek for education. Sometimes on the internet, it is not everything. You know, on the internet, most of the times it is uh, the experiences outside. That is what is shared. But if you should talk to farmers within your country, within your environment, you would, I think you would be more educated and you, you would do well. Yes. Any challenge that you have, you need to consult, if possible, consult those in the business and you, 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 you do work. You do work. Yes. Let me take you back. Okay. Um, so is there maybe an association that you belong to? An association for, because you are, you seem to have a lot of yes, knowledge. Yes, yes, So yes, do you belong yeah. to any association where you're able to share with a larger group? Okay, so uh, I, I, I happen to be the founder of RACOC, that's Rabbit Ghana Association, RACOC. And um, for now, with associations, it's a challenge because we are not getting support from the government and sometimes kind of frustrating in terms of feeding them. So, uh, and also commitment, commitment is, is shaking. So uh, it is better when you are starting you go solo, but there are so many platforms. I have about 15 different kind of rabbit platforms that I join. So you join these platforms, you gain experiences from others. As I said, Rakok is available. We have Gaffa. Gaffa too is also available. So when you go on social media, Gaffa or Rakok, you get our contact and you can call us and we'll put you on board. But I would, I would prefer them joining different no platforms and learn from 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 that end yes 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 all right, all right. okay mm. thank you you're welcome thank you. you're welcome so.